My people have lived here since Raven stole the light and the people were made. That was long ago, in a time when the animals talked. We are called the Macaw. It is the name given us by our ancestral neighbors. It is a good name. It means generous with food. <laughs> For centuries, we Macaw were a people of the sea. When the tide was out, our table was set. When the tide came in, our men went out. We could travel far and fast in our ocean-going cedar canoes. My people still live at the most northwestern point of America, in Washington State, Nia Bay and Ozette, two of the sites of our permanent old winter villages. We once lived in cedar longhouses. In the past, we fished and hunted the sea around our villages. Halibut, seal, salmon, ling cod, and whale. We were famous as hunters of whale. Around hmm, 1780, our people began to see strange islands moving offshore under white clouds. It was the white man. He passed in ships even bigger than our ten-man canoes. We know now it was the English. And then the Spanish. The Spanish came ashore near our Nia Bay village in 1791. They took some land and built a fort and planted a summer garden. But the bay was no good for their ships in winter. They left after only a few moons. Oh, but what they left behind in the ground was treasure to us. Food, potatoes, yes, a potato that had come on the Spanish ship all the way up from the Andes somewhere down there in South America. That potato was good to our people. We grew it at our villages where the soil is not so good and the summers mm, not so hot. Most of the people thought it better than the wild wapato, which we had little of anyway. For more than 200 years, the macaw have grown the potato. Some call them Indian potatoes. We usually call them ozets. The whites never paid them much attention. They're long and skinny. I guess some would call them fingers. They have so many eyes. Hard to peel. Mostly, we roast them or boil them. In the old days, we would eat them dipped in seal oil. <laughs> Even without the seal oil, they have a nice nutty flavor. Now, scientists come, and people who look for special foods. They're interested in our old ozettes. They say all other potatoes in North America came from those first taken to Europe and bred there. Our rosette is an original from South America. It's different. Not like modern kinds. <laughs> A bit like us, maybe. Fifteen, twenty years ago, we gave some rosettes to the people at the herb farm. They liked them. They grew them in their kitchen garden. They've been able to serve a few most years since at the restaurant down there. Now... They're creating a potato feast. Uber, tuber. Our Indian potato will have a special place on the menu. The Ozette is rare. Few have tasted it. Even some of my people have never had the Ozette. The slow food people put it on their Ark of Taste, a world heritage food in need of preservation. <laughs> That makes me happy, saving a bit of the past. Grandfather tended the potato patch before me, and many, many grandmothers before him. They all loved our Ozette.
더 포테이토 원즈 구투 마이 피플 비 구투 잇